Hey, what's up everyone? You're wondering about the cost of living right here in Columbus. So this video is gonna be all about the cost of living. So stick around. One of these days, I'll never feel like again. With steely back again. And I'm looking like a video. One of these days, I'll never feel like again. With steely back again. And I'm looking like a video. One of these days, I'll never feel like again. I'm Andy Howe, I'm a local real estate agent right here in Columbus, Ohio, and today I wanted to bring you a close look at the cost of living here in Columbus. I'm gonna be talking about housing, whether you're buying a home or renting, transportation, utilities, healthcare, groceries, all things that go into what it takes to live here in Columbus. So, so before I move on, if you're interested in cool videos about Columbus, neighborhood reviews, and just what it's like to live here, reach down, hit that subscribe button, and be sure not to miss a video. So if you're here watching this video, you've likely been aware or been cut in on what's happening here in Columbus. We have a whole heck of a lot of people moving here from Chicago, New York, and many cities out west in California, and actually a lot of people from just around the Ohio area are moving to Columbus. And why is that? Well, in short, it's cost of living. Columbus is about 15% cheaper than the national average. And in today's 2020 world, where you know most of us are working from home or working remotely anyway, I think people, the light bulb's starting to go off and people are realizing, hey, I don't have to live in this big expensive city. I don't have to live in this city where I have to spend all this windshield time or commute time to find an affordable place. So we got a lot of people moving from all these areas. And the first thing that sticks out to me is cost of housing. The cost of housing, especially compared to nationally, is very inexpensive here in Columbus. The median home price is $191,000 compared to $330,000 nationally. And even though prices have been creeping up in recent years because of everybody moving here, that is still 43% cheaper than the national average. So you can get a lot of bang for your buck from the housing front here in Columbus. But what if you're not buying a house? What if you're looking to rent? Well, rents here are also pretty attractive. Uh, last couple years, you could get a three bedroom apartment for you know $900. Today, that's more like $1,300 on average, but still way cheaper than other cities of this size and cheaper than the national average. So you've got a home, you're either living in it or renting. What about utilities? Well, utilities are one of those things that we're just a skosh above the national average, about 2%. I don't really know why that is. I suspect it would have to do with our seasonality here in Columbus. We have four distinct seasons, or as you know, I said in the last video, five. You can probably hear grinding and construction going on in the background here, but um, you know, in the winter, it's pretty temperament here, but it can get down to the teen single digits, so people gotta keep their houses warm. And then in the summer, uh, like today, it can be kind of hot and humid, so people are th keeping their houses cool with AC. So if I had to guess, that would be why utilities would be more expensive, but still, uh, not that bad. For instance, we I live in about a 2,000 square foot house, 100 year old house, so not great insulation, but we spend about, $300 on average on our utilities per month. And I'm including in the utilities, I'm including electric, gas, uh, internet, water, sewer, trash removal. So about $300 for us, we're a family of four. So next is the cost of food. Cost of food here is about the national average. Hundreds of the national average, we're at 98. So um, Chances are, wherever you're moving from, food's gonna be about the same. There are a ton of grocery stores to choose from. Uh, Kroger has a huge presence here, largest grocer in the United States, but we've also got places like uh, Trader Joe's, we've got Aldi, we've got Whole Foods, and my personal favorite, uh, Lucky's Market. Think Whole Foods, but without the whole paycheck prices. So, uh, for a family of four, we spend about $1,500 each month on food. Uh, of course, you could spend a lot less. We tend to choose the organic and high quality food, but uh, j that just should give you a little bit of an idea about what we're spending on our food. So we've got our housing, we've got our utilities, we've got our food. What about transportation? 
Well, transportation is about 10% cheaper here in Columbus than the national average. Now, I'm including things like car insurance, registration and licensing, and gas. And, you know, to give you a typical example, I lived in Colorado about 10 years, and out there to register your car each year, it would be like a thousand bucks. I mean, so astronomically expensive. I don't really know why, but here in Columbus, it's about $150 to, it, well, at least it was last year for me to register my car. So that is a great savings. Uh, gas here in Columbus, July 2020 is averaging just around two bucks. So if you're interested in what it is today, if you're watching this much later, drop a comment below and I'll uh, reply with what the current gas prices are here. So, so next is healthcare. Healthcare here in Columbus is about 15% cheaper than the national average. And why is that? Maybe it's because people have some robust health here in Columbus, so insurances are cheaper. Or maybe it's just the competition from all the hospitals here. I mean, we have Ohio Health, we have Mount Carmel, we have Nationwide, we have OSU. So all these different companies, um, hospital companies, competing for your business. And um, so that's great for us with regarding health insurance, family of four, all relatively healthy. We spend about $500 a month and so $6,000 a year, and that's gonna cover us for all our preventative health care. I think total at the end of the year, we maybe spend $7,000 total. Uh, by the time we do, you know, go for the, the kid bumping their head or, uh, you know, just, just those incidental things that happen with your health. So, so next I wanted to just walk you guys through the different areas of town, just from a 10,000 foot view, obviously, Depending on where you live, that cost of living being 15% cheaper uh, could go up or down. So let's take a closer look whether you're renting or buying at, at the different areas of town. The darker colors are the more expensive and then the lighter colors are less expensive. Let's start off with the darker areas. So that's gonna be Bexley, Upper Arlington, Dublin, Powell, New Albany, each of those areas have really, really nice school systems. I mean, Upper Arlington and Dublin and Powell are always the, some of the best ones, but uh, New Albany is certainly great as well. Those areas I'm talking about, specifically Dublin, Powell, and New Albany, more suburban. Uh, while uh, Upper Arlington is an area and Bexley within the city, um, where you can kind of get a little, be a little bit more in the action. Just expensive, real estate's expensive there. Property taxes can tend to be more expensive um, compared to the rest of the city. And as you can see from this, uh, this graph, they are actually about 50% expen more expensive than the average US cost of living. So uh, some other areas that are, are less expensive uh, but, but still on the higher side are going to be your Sunbury's, your uh, Worthington, uh, Westerville, Gahanna, uh, Pickerington, Pataskala. Uh, those areas like that are still going to be more expensive. Each of those, interestingly, have uh, you know, great school systems as well. Largely, I mean, most of Columbus, looking at this map, is pretty darn affordable. With the exception of those areas, those darker areas, no matter where you choose in Columbus, you know, as long as you're involved as a parent, you're gonna get a great education for your child. At large, Columbus is a lot cheaper, and you know, most of this color is kind of this, uh, this purplish lavender color. And you can see that's mostly, you know, around 15% cheaper than the national average. That is why so many people in my mind are moving to Columbus. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Quick glimpse in the cost of living here in Columbus. If you have any questions whatsoever, again, I'm a local real estate agent helping people move here every day from other areas seeking that value and looking to catch the coattails on everything cool that's happening in Columbus. So feel free to reach out in whatever way you want to. Email, call me, text me, uh, drop me a comment below. I uh, would love to hear what you thought about this video and uh, what you would add. So thanks so much. And oh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button to be sure not to miss any of the cool videos we got coming showcasing all things about Columbus. Thanks so much, guys.